What's going on, everybody? MVP Collectibles back here again tonight with another preview for you guys. This will be the X. Oh, Jesus. I'm sorry. I, I've done a bunch of XM Studios previews today. This will be the Sideshow Collectibles premium format of for Cable. And he's pretty cool. He's not amazing. He's not the greatest thing ever. Uh, pretty hefty price point for what he is. But I guess it's what it is. It is what it is. Um, I'm not going to go on any rants about anything about this one. If you watch my, my Juggernaut one, uh, I was obsessed. Ridiculous. That price point's ridiculous. This one's a little bit more tempered. I would like to see it in the 600s, but you win some, you lose some. I will get into the price a little bit later on. But I just have about 10 photos for you guys. I'm sorry for the focus. It might be kind of funky. I'm also sorry for the light. You guys, I'm, a lot of me is probably in shadow. The light in my house at night is terrible. So I do apologize. Uh, but yeah, this piece is really cool. Very comic book, uh, whatever, um, comic book accurate, I guess is where you'd say it. I do wish he would have had one big gun and one small gun. That's a little bit of a nitpick um he just he also seems like all of his like muscles are like very round i guess uh he's going to be, be the dimensions uh 21 inches tall so a little bit smaller now i'm hoping he's not 21 inches small to that because that would be small i hope it's to that because if it's if it's if that's 21 inches tall then he's going to be like six like 18 and that just to me seems really small so i hope it's to there and not there but who really knows um here's a good look at the back or the side back of him uh really cool effects um again it's not amazing but pretty pretty cool statue again i won't be getting him i don't buy marvel statues uh, but here you go. Here, and the cape, this is a neat ad. The cape is going to be re removable. And I would assume a lot of people will not have the cape on. Of course, if I, if it was me, I wouldn't. Um, but who knows, especially since a lot of people don't see the back of their statues. So who really knows too much? Uh, here's a good look at the, the uh, back. Or, the, sorry, the base. Uh, again, Xavier, school. He's coming to attack. He's, he'll probably fit right in with the juggernaut. Things like that. Maybe it's another villain, Magneto, something like that. Now, this is cool. Um, we're going to skip over the top one just for a second. But the multiple display options here is a cool, neat little ad. And, of course, the exclusive on this piece is going to be... So, this will be the... Is going to be this. This... People are either going to love this exclusive or they're going to be, eh, whatever. I'm a fan. Of course, the exclusive guys is this. The hand with the little Deadpool thing. I think it's good. I think it's a good exclusive. I don't know if it's great. Um, I think, though, with this exclusive, the exclusive will go quite quickly. Um, a lot of people have wanted a cable PF for quite some time. Um, and the posts on Facebook are saying perfection, things like that. And this make think makes it look, this just adds to, it just adds a lot. To, it adds personality. It adds everything like that. Um, so I will leave it. I'll leave it just like this for the West. Uh, that's all the photos. Um, so I'll just leave it like this while I just go over some information. Um, this will be $705 for the collector's edition, which of course would just be that um and then so if you guys get sorry for scrolling through these here but uh and then 725 dollars for the deadpool little doohickey guy um so something that i i'm sorry i don't really understand okay is okay now Back me up on that. You guys might disagree. You guys might agree. Whatever. This piece is seven hundred and fifty dollars or seven hundred and twenty-five bucks for this statue. Okay. He's small. Okay. Now I'm gonna bring you a different statue. I don't have a picture of him, but um, the another statue I'm gonna compare him to is going to be the 
green AOO uh, PF, which is really cool. Fun fact about that piece, I actually bought the last exclusive on Sideshow's website. It had Act Now almost sold out. I hit buy. They said, thank you for your order. Um, five minutes later, I refreshed my thing. About, okay, about two minutes later, I refreshed my thing, and it said now waitlisted. So I don't know if for sure if I got the last one, but I mean, I'm pretty sure. So I'm like amazed and super happy because the, the exclusive on that piece is awesome. Of course, he comes with two different swap outs for exclusive, swap out head, swap out uh, AOL. And, but what I'm trying to get to, why I'm trying to bring that, that piece up is that piece is like 585. Okay. He's bigger. He's 25 inches tall. Now, some the reason he is taller is because his base is going to be bigger. His base will probably go to there because he's standing up on like a pedestal or something. But so that's kind of like, I get it. Okay. Couple things. The Marvel license is more expensive. I'm almost positive. That's one thing to keep in mind. Second thing, the demand for this character has been out there. There hasn't been a lot for Green Arrow, which makes no sense because there's more fucking cable statues than there was fucking Green Arrow statues. But whatever. Um, so we're gonna have to see. We're gonna have to see the price point. It's pretty. It's pre this X Men line, my, guys. If you want to collect the whole line, I would just start signing up a paychecks at this point. It's like seven hundred dollars. Seven hundred dollars. Six hundred and fifty. 1390 Don't get me sold on that shit. 800 It's like flab. Like, the difference between that and the DC PFs is a, quite a lot. I get there's a lot going on in this piece. I get the two different guns, whatever. But I told you I wouldn't go on a rant. I'm not going to. This this price point is okay. Anything north of 700 I would have been like, really? But whatever. Um. So, yeah. Overall, my overall thoughts, I do really like this piece. Cool exclusive, kind of an out-of-the-box kind of exclusive. You, I I thought they would go with a different swap out arm with a different gun, something like that. I'm a little bit surprised they didn't do that. Um, but yeah, guys, this piece is pretty damn cool. Uh, please comment if you are getting this piece. Any thoughts, any information. Again, this is actually not up for pre-order yet. I'll wrap this video up with that. This will go up for pre-order. Today is the night of the 9th. This will go up between noon and 3 p.m. on Thursday, April 11th. So this upcoming Thursday, it will be up for pre-order on Sideshow's website. So if you really, I don't know how fast this exclusive will sell out. I don't think it'll be a day. Who knows? This is a pretty anticipated piece. Um, but just to let everyone know, that's when it will go up. Uh, so yeah, guys. Thank you for watching this this uh my, this the Jesus this preview. Uh, I am MVP Collectibles. Please like, share, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts on this piece. Let me know if you're getting it. Let me know all that good shit. Um, also hit a like. Also hit the like on the or the like button on this video as well. And until my next video, guys. Bye bye.